I woke up this morning with a giant DLSS shaped hole in my heart. Because Nvidia recently announced DLSS 4.5, I've been testing this like nonstop lately. Here's the spreadsheet. I still got a lot more testing to do. I really want to do a deep analysis for you guys. But as I was doing these tests, I kind of started to notice just how good it can look with how little resolution. And I know a lot of you guys are going to be saying like, he's getting paid by Nvidia to say this. and. After all I've said about NVIDIA, I'd be really surprised if they ever even talked to me again. But today, I definitely don't think they're going to be paying me because I want to see just how far you can push this upscaler. I know all of the graphics engineers out there are going to be... They're going to be cringing. Can't even look at the screen after what I'm about to do to them today. Right now, I'm in Black Myth Wukong. We're at native 4K, as you can see, up left, like it was like 30 FPS. That's horrendous. But this game has a resolution slider in it. What we can do is push it all the way down to nothing. What is 25% of 4K? Whatever whatever that number is, I'll put that on the screen. Why does it not look that terrible? This isn't even the new preset. This is actually DLSS 3 on the older model. Is this real? Are they lying to me? Let me uh, hop into another game really quick and see if we can actually see what this resolution would look like. Okay, now I'm in a Oblivion Remastered, and this game isn't exactly known for looking or running very well, but look at my character. He's looking absolutely sharp today. It does have this funny little setting in the graphics menu, resolution scale, and you can just drag it all the way down to 10%, it looks like. But let's just turn off anti-aliasing entirely. Like the game is gonna be a little bit shimmery as it is, okay? Surprisingly, it doesn't look awful without any anti-aliasing on it, but it doesn't look great either. Let's see what 25% like in Black Myth Wukong we wanted to do. What would that look like without any upscaling whatsoever? And, oh man. All right, that doesn't, that doesn't look good, guys. Our FPS is off the charts. So we can go to DLSS. What would DLSS look like at ultra performance? Which is 33% render scale. So right now we're rendering up from 720p up to 4k and to be honest this is the old version of dlss this is a dlss 3 this ain't no 4 or 4.5 actually surprisingly not bad but the thing how upscaling works fundamentally is it does value just having a higher base input resolution so if you're at 4k then it's gonna have 720p to go into it but if you were to go to something like 1080p so this is what TAA would look like at 1080p. This is the kind of sharpness we're digging into. Let's see what it looks like if we were to do 33% scale at 1080p, which would be the DLSS Ultra Performance, but not using DLSS. And that is looking, wow, that is a blur fest. Holy sh that is crazy. And let's use DLSS on its own, just Ultra Performance. This is DLSS 3, not even the 4.5 stuff. Wow, that's doing a lot better. There's still a lot of weirdness in the image, but we're upscaling from like 360p up to 1080p at the moment, so it's kind of hard to complain too much. But what happens if we go into the new updated models of DLSS? So I just hopped outside the game and I'm gonna change the preset for DLSS, override it within the driver to preset K which is actually not even the latest version of DLSS still. Seeing this, there's a lot less noise going on. There's a lot less flickering and, and weirdness. I'm not gonna lie, this doesn't actually, like surprisingly, yeah, it kind of turns into mush when you turn around the camera and stuff, but like this one looks surprisingly good. But the thing about it is there's an even better version of DLSS as well. So let's up it yet again to preset M which is DLSS 4.5. Now, I think the problem is you still see some flickering. I think that's actually because of stinking Unreal Engine 5. Nah, not even entirely because of this. I'm not gonna lie, this is surprisingly good. Like we're scaling from 360p up to 1080p. This isn't as bad as you would think it would be. Like, I mean, maybe it's not the best experience. Let's run it at native. Oh, it definitely looks sharper at native. A lot sharper. But like, the ultra performance was surprisingly usable. Okay, I just hopped in Marvel Rivals. All right, and this isn't even as crazy as we're gonna be going in this video. I ain't gonna lie, but we're already on ultra performance DLSS on the F preset in the game. Let's go to 1080p ultra performance upscaling and just see if it can even make a usable image. And you can see just the game itself. Again, this is an Unreal Engine 5 game. Why did I pick two Unreal Engine 5 games in a row? I don't know, but 
it gets even more insane. The entire image is still breaking down, but this is the DLSS 3, this isn't DLSS 4.5. Now we're in DLSS 4.5, the latest one. I will say the image does fall apart quite a bit. Definitely 360p, but it's actually is still kind of surprising that there is stuff to still be made out. Like the railing still exists. You can still see that there is separate stairs on the staircases. I mean, it's a little bit better than you think it would be upscaling from 360p. I am kind of curious if you're to up the internal game settings because Honor Engine 5 has its own issues. That kind of fixes some of the problems. Wait, let's go back over here. By changing the game settings, but still upscaling it extremely aggressively, the game honestly looks a lot better. So that's just more so the game. Like the upscaler is doing good. Guys, this does not look like 360p, not at all. Well, let's check if it's 1080p really quick. DLAA, which would be native 1080p. Uh, yeah, that definitely looks quite a bit sharper overall. There, there's kind of like a certain aspect to it. It's like, you kind of like hate that it's really good. In some ways, it's kind of a, a blessing. It's like, wow, you can get a lot more performance by using upscaling and still get a decent looking image into a game. But there's another aspect where it's like developers are, are they going to optimize their games nearly as much because of how much you can get away with? It's insane. I'm playing Borderlands 4 as intended right now. 360p upscaled to 1080p. Yeah. I don't think the cell shading uh, really behaves properly once you start to get... It's a lower resolution. Yeah, the game is definitely running. I wouldn't say uh, that there's detail over there. I mean, debatable if that would be playable, but this is what Randy Pitchford wants you to play anyway, so this doesn't look terrible. And this is probably the best performance you'll ever see in Borderlands 4, so uh, yeah. I mean, the art style kind of lends to it. So now we maxed out the settings in the game. It's just we're upscaling from 360p. So what are you guys' thoughts on this? I mean, Hmm, it's definitely a, a choice, but like it's relatively stable. I can't complain too much about the actual upscaling from how little it has to work with. Uh, no wildlife can exist here. At 1080p in this game at the moment, honestly, it still looks decently sharp, even though I'm looking at it on a 4K monitor. Right now we're on DLSS 4.5, so let's, let's see. It doesn't seem to hold up as good in this game. Mm hmm. Do you see like the hair? It like really breaks up compared to what it was at 1080p. Seems like it it over sharpens it like crazy. It looks really crunchy. I don't know if you guys are feeling that too. Like it's really crunchy looking. Now I will say this doesn't look like 360p. That's for sure. But it doesn't look like 1080p or even really even close to that. To be honest, it's surprisingly still usable. Like imagine if you had this on like a gaming handheld and it was a 1080p screen, like this wouldn't be that bad on there to be honest. It's a lot better than the other shit you'd be using on a handheld sometimes. So like, damn, it's not as bad as you would think. And then the performance that you get from it is kind of insane. Maybe Nvidia is a little bit, maybe they're cooking here, you know, a little bit here. But the thing is like, you guys wouldn't think that I would stop here. I'm a little bit psychotic today. Okay, because we can push this resolution further. I want to see if we can upscale from 360p all the way up to 4K. NVIDIA doesn't even let you do this. You see DLSS Super Resolution Override. You can set a percentage. So instead of whatever you'd be putting into the game, you can set a custom percentage resolution. But there's a little uh, bit of text down there. It's because NVIDIA doesn't want you to set it below 33% resolution scale, which is already what ultra performance mode does. That is where a tool called DLSS Tweaks comes in. If you just double click this guy, also I need to do this. I, I You can look up a video on this if you wanna try it for yourself. Really, this is all for science. I don't think you'd, I don't think you would play a game like this, but here we got DLSS quality levels. Then it's gonna instead replace that with a different kind of resolution. Yeah, I did just look this up. It is 640 by 360. 640 by, oh my God, man, this is gonna be terrible. 360p, that is disgusting. 
See, that's the thing is you go into the settings for the game, they don't even allow you to put in a resolution this low to begin with. This is what native 4K looks like. Look at the sharpness, the detail available. It does look very, very good. If we do DLSS Ultra Performance, this should be upscaling from 720p up to 4K. So this should already be pretty compromised. And standing still in the game, it honestly doesn't look that bad. It looks a little bit over sharpened compared to what negative 4K was, but we can go lower. Let's see if I turn it to performance mode. <gasps> oh my God, we're upscaling from 360p. Oh, what is happening? We're going from 360p to 4K. Do you guys see it? It like gets gradually more pixelated and then it resets. More and more pixelated, it resets. What's weird though is when it resets, it doesn't look that bad. It's always pulsing to this weird, weird level. Like it seriously doesn't look that bad when we're just chilling. Okay, this is kind of blowing my mind. I don't know about you guys, but like, I have a theory of why it's pulsing. But we'll see if it does it in other games first. And here commences the time where I tried to add DLSS tweaks to every single game and it really didn't work. I guess Nvidia doesn't want you to be showing this or I was doing something wrong or it needed to be updated. I don't really know. Okay, we're on DLSS Ultra Performance right now. What the hell is happening? Wait, it's fine now. I figured it out. So this should be 360p right here. Mm, didn't work didn't work. I could not get it upscaling from 360p to 4k in so many games. I tested a lot of games. It's not working. It's not working. Well, this has been a failed experiment in terms of that. I wanted to see how low we could push the resolution. If you have any ideas for that, then let me know. But the thing is, Nvidia still has one other thing up their sleeves. Nobody's really talking about it. There's not only an M preset, which is DLSS 4.5, but there's also L. I will tell you, this preset does not take the L. If you check Nvidia's FAQ section with DLSS 4.5, you'll actually see that this one is specifically targeted for things like ultra performance upscaling. So let's turn on preset L. There's definitely issues. I will say I think a lot of this is because of Unreal Engine 5. Let's hop into another game where it's not as weird because of Unreal Engine. And Unreal Engine just be doing some weird sometimes, I ain't gonna lie. Again, this doesn't look like 1080p. <laughs> It looks over sharpened and crunchy, but has a surprising amount of detail. I mean, damn, we're rendering this from like a potato. It's kind of crazy that you can even get a decent looking image. There isn't like terrible ghosting or awful smearing as I pan the camera. It's like, I don't think it looks completely clear and there's some weird issues around the actual character on the ground, but Man, like what the hell, 360p. Let's see what our performance actually is. Um, so I'm scaling from 360p, we're on a 5060 Ti, which is like a mid-range graphics card. We actually don't get an insane amount of performance. And because this is Nvidia's best version of the upscaler, which means that is the biggest, fattest model that's on it. And it is the heaviest model as well. So it takes a lot of performance from the GPU to actually even run the shit. We got this going at 360p up to 1080p with Nvidia's best preset. And yeah, it is very, very blurry, especially when it comes to this like grass and stuff. Oh man. Let's try to do this fight with this guy. I'm probably gonna lose because I'm asked to this game now. I haven't played it in a while, but let's try to do this fight at 360p. Just ask him there you yourself. Alright, alright, not great. I can see what's happening. Of course you got me, that just ended me. That just ended my life already, bro. I just started the damn fight. I just started the damn fight. Guys, that's definitely the resolution. It's all the resolution. That wasn't me. That wasn't. I'm not bad at the game or anything like that. We get some close up shots like 360p. It doesn't look that bad. I'm not gonna lie. 
is definitely playable. That's like why I just wanted to just dig into this because I, I felt like kind of crazy because like I was testing some of the games as like it's like 720p upscaled to 4K or I even tested 540p upscaled to 1440p. And it looks surprisingly decent in a lot of games, especially with the new models of upscalers. And it's like, I'm sitting here, it's like, I don't really want to like it <laughs> because, you know, all the excuses is going to let developers get by and everything. But man, are they really impressive? Like, seriously, that doesn't mean I love the frame generation. Like, that is the one thing I'm like, I don't know if we should really be pushing in that direction, but... Upscaling does make the game run faster. You get more frame rate. The game's more responsive. You know, this supports graphics cards as far back as like 2018. If you can even use it to accelerate those older cards to get more life out of them and being able to run games possibly just at higher resolution, like if you wanted a 1440p or a 4K monitor. And yeah, on those older cards though, with the performance wise, there's already been stuff coming out about it. It's like they don't necessarily perform that well. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below because this blows my mind. Hey, really quickly, let's just uh, change it to 1440p and still do ultra performance upscaling dude it is unbelievable yeah it's preset l this is the heaviest preset but it looks like good am i insane am i insane you know i'll make the follow-up video that really goes over the performance everything really digs into the image quality as well yeah amd's upscaling is also very good intel's upscaling is pretty solid but nvidia is putting out an insane showing now like this is I don't even know if it needs to be this good because the older one was also very good. So let me know what you guys think about this um, or if you even tried it. So I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Hopefully you all have a good one and peace.